And so, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and change my layout to my um, redshift shader graph. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to get a new redshift hair node here. I just want to make sure that I, oops, doesn't need an RS, does it? Uh, I'm just going to, I want to make sure that you can sort of see sort of the basics of the, you know, controlling color uh, with this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and start that renderer. And it's extracting the geometry and preparing ray tracing hierarchies and etc. And then there we go. So this is the default redshift hair material. Um, and at this point, we're not, you know, it's not getting any information from the Cinema 4D hair materials that are on there. Um, there may be some things with like, uh, like if I go to the main hair. And let's say I go to, um, let's turn off like thickness, frizz, kink, density, and clump, and then force a refresh. Those like hair channel, hair material channel qualities are red independently of color, right? So we can see that with those off, um, even though the redshift hair is on top, you know, they're still relevant 